Hello, uh, my name is Mike Salmon, and I'm here with uh, my daughter Lydia Salmon. Say hi. Uh, so this is uh, part two, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, fishing line. Um, I've been fishing for for about I don't know five six years. About that. Yeah. I don't know, how would you know? How old are you? Three years old. So before you were even born, I was fishing. Did you know that? So I've, I've been fishing, and uh, I won't say I'm a pro fisherman, but let's just say uh, I get, I'm get i an enthusiast. I like to fish. Um, there was a time I'd go fishing every week, like maybe even two times a week. And then, of course, work schedule and children and all that comes into play. And, uh, whoa, hey, you're going to break the fan here. So, um, okay, hey, you're gonna, don't do that. You're going to electrocute yourself. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Keep your eyes on the, on the prize right here. Okay. So um, I go usually catfishing, and I stick the light in the water, and I try to catch different types of fish. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I use was just really heavy line, 8-pound, 10-pound, 12-pound line. I ne no one really ever taught me um, the importance of line weight and the type of line. So the other day, um, I was uh, fishing. I was fishing at the uh, Lake City Park Lake. Um, so this is important to know too. I was fishing at the city park lake and I was there probably in about an hour fishing, throwing in uh, fishing, etc. And uh, it turns out that at about an hour I haven't caught, I didn't catch anything. I didn't even get a bite. So a guy uh, uh, pulls in about 10 feet from, uh, from us. I was there with my dad and my brother-in-law and he was there about uh, 10 feet. And he says, Hey, you guys catch anything? I said, we haven't even gotten a bite. I think the fish are on vacation from Christmas. And uh, the guy throws in his line, he's sitting 10 feet away from us, just pulled in, T pulls in his line, not even two minutes later, he's pulling in a trout. Like this. Throws in his line again, five minutes later, another trout. Let's just say, before you know it, it was like three trouts, and he looks at me, he goes, he goes, uh, oh man, I said, I said, oh, that's awesome. I was so excited for the guy. I was kind of disappointed, like, why aren't we catching anything? Um, so anyway, he says, hey, come here, I'll show you something. So he comes, sends me over there, and he shows me, the bait that he's using because I asked him what kind of bait are you using he said uh, night crawlers you know so um, I said to him okay so he gave me some uh, bait that he's using and I put the same bait the same identical bait on my fishing line yeah. I and, that's right and I threw the fishing line the fishing pole or the line cast the the, re the line yeah. into the water and there was no catch no fish nothing and I waited probably another hour, two hours, nothing. And I kept using the same bait, nothing, nothing, nothing. Anyway, um, what someone, I've been, all this time I've been fishing, no one really told me the trick. See, number one, I had old line. That's number, that's a bad thing. Because I had old line. And um, again, you know, our life, if we have old line and old stuff in our life, we'll never be successful. You know, again, God says that when we come to Christ, we become a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. So that's the very first thing. In the first video, what we did is we took off all the old line and removed it out. Yeah. Right? And now we have to put in the new line, the new stuff. And that's what Jesus Christ does in our life is he puts in new things in our life. So the important thing is to, un to understand and know the line that you're trying. Yeah. You know, a lot of people... Uh, Oh, that's right. Um, I had an 8 and 10 pound line. And not only that, but I had a line called monofilament. See, I, I no one ever taught me about the importance of line weight and what kind of line you use. So I was using 8 to 10 pounds, 8 to 12 pounds of line fishing city ponds. And what happens is, if you take 8 to 12 pounds of line, which is, let me see if I can even find line I was using okay here's an eight pound line eight pound line you can see this line is a pretty thick line right pretty thick that's right so if it goes underwater the fish the reflection off the water because it's shallow can see this line right and this is a monofilament line okay and so that makes the line uh, kind of weird now what no one said to me is, hey, if you're fishing shallow water, like uh -huh, you need, and, and you're fishing, especially for trout. Trout like, is a very picky. Like, like this, you tie it. That's right, tie it. Uh, trout is a very picky fish. 
you need something thinner. Like here is a. Like this. This is a. This. What line is this? Um, four pound. This is a four pound line, okay? You can still see, obviously, yeah. the reflection. You, you but hold. when you compare it, I'm gonna have you hold the eight pound. Okay. Here you go. Hold it like this, okay? okay. Show them up here, eight pound. Okay. And hold it like this. Put your hand here, just like this. Got it? Okay. That's four, eight pound, and this is a four pound. Okay, hold it. Hold, no, no, I'll hold the four pound. You hold the eight pound. Stretch it. Stretch it, okay? Four pound, eight pound. You can see. It's thinner, okay? Thinner on it, okay? Some of it even disappears. And here you go, see it disappear right there? Yeah. Okay. So eight pound and four pound is completely different, okay? Yeah. Four pound, okay, not only that, but also there's a type of line too. This is what they call fluorocarbon, 100% fluorocarbon line. Okay, this is called vanish and they kind of give it like a description like if you, it disappears now there is no way well I mean you can't say there's no way I mean you could catch maybe catfish or even the bigger fish stuff like that this is what they call monofilament line monofilament line this spool here this stuff that you get at Walmart right when you, you don't want to eat that because that's uh, fish eggs yeah, you know, yeah disgusting uh, monofilament line. I have another roll. Where's the other roll? The other roll line. The other line roll. Uh, let me see here if I can find it. You see the other line roll? No, this is the something else. Here. It's another one, big one like this. Okay, I guess we don't have it here. Okay, so this is monofilament line. Now, there's a few things about monofilament. Okay, honey. Yeah, you, this is, no, it's not like this, because this is poke. You see the sharp thing here? Okay, so, thing about monofilament line is monofilament line floats. Okay, so. Like this. Fish. Yeah, and what happens is monofilament line floats. So that means if you cast your line out there, the line floats, okay? Um, it kind of has the tendency to go up. Okay, because it, it floats, if, even if you have weight on there, okay? Fluorocarbon line, fluorocarbon, this is a different type of brand, it's called, it's easy, fluoro, okay. spider fish. wire, very popular, spider and wire. Here. Like, it mm -hmm. like and you can see they boast on the clarity on fluorocarbon. And, and it's cool like that's right. Fluorocarbon is what you need on shallow water fluorocarbon. Listen, very important. If you ever go fishing, don't buy monofilament. And, and it's, okay? Um, and it's, whatever you do, don't buy monofilament. And it's, it's, um, buy monofilament if you, the only time you'll buy monofilament is if you are fishing by the rocks and stuff like that. And the reason and, why is because and, it's... And it's, and spider is pokey. That's right. It's because it's a little bit stronger. I mean, it, it doesn't have like a, a tear weight. It's got a little bit stronger thing than a, than a, a floral carbon. But my advice to you is buy floral carbon. Here, let me tell you what the difference is. This floral carbon one, this is only 200 yards, six pounds, this, 200 yards. It cost me $8. And this, and this, this is eight pounds with 1,600 yards. Cost me five dollars. Okay, so that the, the price tells you. Oh yeah, I think that's the that that's the blind. Bring that over there. Bring that wire here. Five bucks, six bucks. You buy this at Walmart, and it's got sixteen hundred. Okay, this is over over a uh, uh, five, six, seven, eight times about eight times more than this one does, and, and it's and, double. And it's I'm sorry, it, this is double. The price quadruple the price okay so you're talking about uh, eight dollars for 200 yards so that kind of tells you a little bit about why people buy floral carbon you would think and it's, and it's you would pokey. think and it's pokey you would think six pounds and six pounds six pound line six pound line it's all the same but it's really not all the same see this is the difference between the catching a fish versus not catching a fish 
Look, if you're going fishing for catfish, who cares? Buy the six pound, eight pound monofilament. Those things eat anything, man. You just throw it in, they'll even eat your line. And then, and you, and you, you touch pokey and you get hurt. That's right. So, you buy, you want to get catfish, you throw the, the line in, those things, they eat anything. It's dark, it's nighttime, you're going nighttime fishing, monofilament, piece of cake. That is a big thing, difference is if, if I look back into all the times I've gone fishing, I've noticed that the majority of the fish that I catch is at nighttime. It's not during the daytime. It's at nighttime. Watch out, honey. Who's got my line? Oh, Rebecca. Rebecca, you got my line? Give me my line. Okay, so this is another uh, monofilament line. It's, uh, again, from, from, uh, from Walmart. And it's about six, seven bucks for... 700 yards, maybe a little bit cheaper. It, 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 more. It's, it's poking more and it's, it's getting... But if you want to catch fish all the time, floral carbon, four pounds, six pounds at the city park lakes. Four pounds, six pounds at the city park lakes. Um, and if you go out to the lake, I would jump up to like eight to 12 pounds. Okay, that's a little bit. You're going to find 8 to 12 pounds is going to be more than sufficient. I've caught big, big catfish uh, on 8 to 12 pounds on monofilament. But fluorocarbon, you want at the city lake 4 to 6 pounds. Anything above 6 pounds, forget it. Those fish, there's, the water is so shallow at city parks, it's going to be very difficult to catch anything. And it's, it's, it's pokey. You, right. and, and you And you touch it, it's... And you touch it right here. That's right. So, do you want to say anything else about the lines? Yeah. Okay. You poke it it's not about poking. This is about fishing lines. You. Yeah? Okay. So, anyway, um, this is very important. You see, look, it's now time for us to put the new line onto the fishing pole. But, again, see how important it is to put the right weight and the right kind. You can't just put any new stuff on it. You know, and, and this is why a lot of people, what happens is a lot of people in their life is they want to catch more fish. They want to be successful in their life, but they're putting on the wrong, they're, they're adopting wrong religions, they're adopting wrong philosophies, they're adopting the wrong thing. But the only true way to eternal life and the true way to success is only through Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through what? Yeah. Through me. Amen? Yeah. Amen. That's ruined. That's right. So she's saying, don't do tattoos. It's no good. So what I'm saying is, Christ is the only way to salvation. And it's kind of like the floral carbon. The only true way to really catch fish and, and really dominate is to have the best, the right, the right type of wire on there. Right, Anna? Photobombing. Um, otherwise, you know, people try to say, oh, I'm going to try Islam. Or I'm going to try Buddha. Or I'm going to try positive thinking. All you're using is monofilament. That's all it is. You're just gonna waste your time and catch and nothing you, but catfish. And that's why, not that catfish is bad, but you're gonna catch, you're gonna have to catch it real late at night and catfish that just don't care. But if you wanna true, get true success, get the trout, the bass, the good stuff, you wanna go fluorocarbon. If you want to really be successful in life, you wanna go Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And you, and you, it's, you put, you put, <coughs> Ready, ready, That's right. So I hope this helps, and I'm going to do a, a part three for uh, bait and the bait you need to use. Thank you for watching.